Cleanly when I come back. Oh, here she is, Cruella de Vil. Tracy. No, it's fine. You should try telling my dad that. I have not seen him this upset since Freshco stopped doing two for one on his conditioner. I'm sorry. You've done nothing wrong. Uh, she had no right sentencing that dog to death. It wasn't me, it was the vet. You were judge and jury. You can't blame the hangman. Cut it out, will you? Uh, Steve, I thought you needed to go. Well, maybe it's me who should go. I'd be better off back at the flat. No, you're going nowhere. Stay here for as long as you need. Uh, I think we need to discuss that. No, we don't. Thanks. I ignore her. You did the right thing. You did the humane thing. And Ken will understand that. I hope so. Shouldn't you be with Oliver? Might as well get hung for a sheep as a lamb. Do you know a brew? Look, I lost track of time. He's supposed to be at the dentist in five minutes. Well, we'll get there. Oh, yeah. If Lewis Hamilton's out there revving his engine... Oh, it's my fault. He was on his way, but he saw I was upset, so... I'm sorry. You're a fully grown woman. You can take care of yourself. Oliver needed his dad, and his dad let him down again. We're going, aren't we? Right, yeah. You're going to need these tissues. He's got a bit of a sniffle. All right, cheers. So, uh, what time do you want him back? Uh, about five o'clock. And don't go plunking him in front of SpongeBob like you always do. I don't. Yeah, you do. He always comes home going on about crabby patties. Kick a ball, take him to the swings, just spend some quality time with him. I thought he had a cold. Oh, any excuse for you, innit? Well, come on, let's go. And no cheap popularity sweets either. I don't even think she made the interview. She's been arrested. What, what, what for? Oh, some sort of green protest. I just didn't have to mention Nina. Oh, yeah, she got collared and all, along with that Evelyn and Mary. They're down the cop shop now waiting for us. Well, when I say us, obviously I mean you. <laughs> <Yep>. OK. <laughs> we could have sent her to Dignitas for this money. I don't find that especially funny. But, darling, I'm not laughing, believe me. Look, I can take care of this if you'd rather. This is my bill. I'll settle it. The proceeds from the sale of the house will cover it. If they ever materialise. Oh, OK. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good, thank you. I mean, she was a very old dog, and I suppose it was her time to go. Yeah, I wish some folk in here would take that option. <laughs> Have you seen this? A stone paw print. And there's enough room for her name and dates on it and a little message. I think her full name is Lady Freckles. Oh, how much, Paletta? Oh, I think I'll stick with Eccles then. So, how much would that be? Right, well, I'll have a think and I'll get back. Ria, would you mind watching the kids for a little bit, please? Oh, of course I will, yes. Where are we going? To see Dr Gaddas. I'm not going to let you suffer a minute longer than you have to. I'm going to do whatever it takes, Jim. <laughs> 